Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how to create an email template in Gmail, which you can use to write standard email content you'll reuse regularly, or for sending canned responses to emails. And don't forget, you can click on any section below to go straight to the area of this guide that interests you the most. Please do subscribe if you like what you see, so we can let you know when new guides are published. Let's get straight into it. If you find yourself sending the same messages out time and time again, using email templates in Gmail can be a great time saving hack that helps you to get more done and spend less time in your inbox. The email templates feature is hidden away in Google Mail, so unless you know where it is and how to turn it on, you may not even know that it's possible in Gmail. At the moment, the templates feature can only be turned on and used in Gmail on the web. You won't find a way to use this in the Gmail mobile app, but this may change in the future. Firstly, let's take a look at how to turn on the template feature in Gmail. The email template feature isn't turned on by default in Gmail. Before we can use it, we need to enable it. To do that, let's move to the top right of our inbox. If I hover over this cog icon, you can see it's labeled settings. This is where the detailed settings for Gmail are stored. If I click on that, it opens a quick settings panel but I want to dive into the next level of settings for Gmail. So I'm going to click on the See All Settings button. This opens a page with a number of different sections and a lot of information on it, but we're only interested in the Advanced section. Let's click on that. There are a number of hidden options on this page. The one we want to focus on today is Templates. Until pretty recently, this feature was called Canned Responses, but was renamed when it was moved out of Google Labs and into Gmail's core settings. To turn it on in Gmail, Let's choose the Enable option in that row. And you must also remember to click the Save button at the bottom of that page in order to confirm that change. Gmail will then restart, and you'll see we are returned to our inbox. Let's now look at how to create a simple standard email template in Gmail. I'll start by clicking on the Compose an Email icon in the top left of our inbox, which opens a new email window. I'm going to write an email template that I want to send to the members of the Woggle Spy Network. Let's create that template quickly. You can add most of the usual formatting features to your template email, such as text formatting, links and images, as well as including any email signatures you've created. In this example, I've put those words in capitals that I think I may want to update when I send it to different people. It's also worth noting that whilst you can attach documents to the original template, they won't be saved and you will need to add them again to any new emails that you send out using this template. You'll see that a prompt for the Gmail Smart Compose feature has popped up whilst I'm writing the email. If you want to find out more about Smart Compose, check out the link above, also shown in the description below. Once we're happy with the email, to save it as a template in Gmail, let's click on the three dots icon, which has a number of options behind it. Because we enable templates, you'll see there's now an option shown for it. So let's scroll up to that and you'll see an option is then shown to save draft as template. Let's move our mouse pointer onto that and that displays a further option, save as new template. Let's click on that. We're then asked to confirm the name of the template. By default, Gmail uses the subject you gave the template, but you can change or modify that by clicking into it. Once you've made any changes you require, click on save to create and store your email template. There's no need to save or work in this email anymore, so I'll close it by clicking on the X in the top right of the Compose window. I'll now move on to show you how to send an email using the template we've just created. As always, to write an email, let's start by clicking on the Compose icon in the top left of the inbox. A new email window opens. To add in our template email, let's click on the three dots at the bottom of the Compose window which displays some more options. From the list shown, let's scroll up to Templates, and you'll see that the template we created earlier, Secret Annual Review, is shown. Let's move our mouse to the template and click it once. This new template is then added to your email. To send that email, I just need to add the recipient's email address, their name, and the time of the review. Once you're happy with it, click the large blue Send button. So now that we've looked at how to create and send templates, I'll show you how to use templates to send canned responses to emails. So if I click into an email I've received, asking to join the Woggle Spy Network, 
and then click on the reply button. A blank email is opened. I've already created a template using the same methods we went through in the earlier sections of this video. To add that canned response to this email, let's click on the three dots at the bottom of the Compose window, which displays some more options. From the list shown, let's scroll up to Templates, and you'll see there's a new response template listed, called Thanks, but no thanks. To insert that response, let's move our mouse to the template and click it once to add to your reply. To insert that response, Let's move our mouse to the template and click it once to add it to your reply. To send that reply, click on the large blue send button. The last thing I'll cover in this guide is how to modify or delete a template. Gmail doesn't offer any way to manage or sort the templates you create, so if you have a large number, it's important to keep them organized and tidy. A good way to help do that is to reuse any existing or old templates rather than adding new ones. To do that, you can modify a template. Let's start by opening a new email window, and I'll add the template that I want to modify to this blank email. To update the email, I just need to make whatever changes are required to the templates and to resave it. To do that, click on the three dots icon. If we scroll up to the templates option, you'll see there's an option shown to save draft as template. If we move our mouse over that, that then opens the overwrite template list. If you then click on the name of the template you've just amended, a box will pop up asking you to confirm that you want to overwrite an existing template. To do that, click the large blue save button and the template has now been successfully modified. Deleting a template in Gmail is much more straightforward to do. To do that, if we click on the three dots in the mail window, and choose the template option. You'll see there's a delete template link at the bottom of the list. To delete a template, click on the template you wish to delete. Gmail then asks you to confirm that you wish to delete this template. To do that, click the large blue delete button. I hope you find this woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Thanks for watching. And do look after yourself until next time.